Hey guys, I'm excited for today's workout. We are doing a cardio blast and then finishing up with a really feel good stretch, probably one of my favorite combinations. Of course, it's safe for pregnancy and postpartum, but anyone can do it. I'm gonna make it low impact. You also don't need any equipment and no rep if you do have diastasis recti or you're recovering after a C-section after you've been cleared, I'm also gonna provide safe modifications for you. The first couple moves are a bit of a warm up so you can increase intensity as you go. Make sure you keep your ribs pulled in here. We're going to go right into the next move here. We're going to move to step a touch next. And lateral lunge. Again, nothing too intense here. Shooting your hips back, keeping your chest high. Exhale as you punch, protecting your core. Moving into speed skaters for a second pause on each side to gain your balance. You can really start to go fast and move here to add the cardio in. Switching to the other side. Awesome job. Let's take a quick 30 second water break. We'll set up in a lunge, getting a nice 
90 degree angle and you're going to exhale, engage as you lift up. You can also just tap forward if you have diastasis recti. Bring your weight back as you lunge back. Switch to the other side. Keeping your core pulled in. Staying low as if there's a book on your head. Wide sumo squat, elbows up, raise up, squeeze your legs and glutes at the top. You can also go slow if this is too much for your core. Other side. A little bit more than we get a water break. Awesome job, shake it out, grab a sip of water. We only have four more minutes of cardio before we move on to the stretches. You can shuffle here, we'll punch high. Keeping your core engaged. You got me begging pretty please I'm so 
and step punch high. Turn your hips here to protect your core. Short little exhales as you punch. Let's come into a sumo squat nice and wide. Engage your core. Go for it. and low impact jumping jacks. Or if you feel safe, you can always do regular jumping jacks. We're gonna move it into a lateral lunge and push off next. Sinking back into your hips, use the power, push up, lift, keeping your core engaged. Switching to the other side. Take curtsy lunge and alternate sides. And you can either move to a wall or move into a squat position and we'll hold here core is engaged you can also add pelvic floor contractions And release, shake it out, awesome job. You can have a sip of water. I'm gonna take my socks and shoes off and we'll move into a really feel good stretch. Stretching after a cardio session is definitely my favorite part. Inhale up. It's bringing our heart rate down. We'll do one more here. Good, and stay low, and we can drop one shoulder in. Pressing your hands, we can stretch through your groin. Switching to the other side. Come on up, let's turn our knees and toes forward. We can lunge side to side, just holding here. Let your hip drop in, stretch. Deep breaths into your back ribs, back body. 
switch to the other side. And back and forth a couple times. Good, let's come on up. We'll stretch out our quads here. So plant one foot, find your balance, and then you can grab your ankle and knee is pointing down or even a little bit back for a deeper stretch. You can tuck your pelvis under and then press your foot into your hand for a deeper stretch. Switch to the other side. Making sure your ribs are staying in and down to protect your core. Steady breaths. Good. Release. So now if you can find your way to a wall, we're gonna open up through the chest. So just stand facing to the side, and then you're going to carefully walk your toes just until it feels a slight stretch. It might be a little bit tingly, it should not feel painful. And then you can push your shoulder forward just slightly to feel a really nice stretch through your shoulder and arm. If it starts to hurt, you can back off. You can switch to the other side. And carefully walk your feet back and switch out. Perfect. So let's take a lunge now. So you can either keep your heel planted or you can pop your heel off, whatever feels good for you. We'll make sure that our hips are facing the side of the room or in front of your leg. Let's tuck our pelvis under, get a nice stretch through our hip flexor or our psoas. Sinking a little bit deeper. Good, come on up. Bringing your stance in, we'll move into pyramid, and with a lengthened spine, hinge at your hips, fold over your leg. Let's flex that front foot and then you can relax and flex a few times. Good. And before we move, if it feels good, you can just let yourself fall over your leg and then come on up. Let's move into triangle or trikonasana. Opening up to the side as if you're between two walls, reach forward and one hand up. Legs are strong. Beautiful, inhale, come on up. We can do that on the other side. So finding a lunge. And you can tuck your tailbone under. bit deeper. Beautiful. Come on up. Let's bring our stance in a little bit, moving into pyramid. Lengthen as if you feel a string pulling up on the top of your head and then just hinging at the hips. So you might be feeling this in your front hamstring.
Good. You can flex your front foot now and release flex. Good. And if it feels good to you, you can release forward before we come all the way up, moving into triangle. Now your hips are facing towards the front. core come on up we're gonna make our way down to the mat now so however is comfortable and we'll come into a wide-legged forward fold so however far is comfortable for you feel free to make this stretch your own if your legs are farther apart it's gonna be more inner thigh and groin stretch but if you want to stretch out your back, if you have a sore back, you could also bring them closer together and bend your legs. So wherever you are sitting up tall to start with, and then you can fold forward and doesn't matter how far you get. Again, if you are pregnant and you wanted to have your legs bent, you may also be looking more like this. So just whatever feels good to you. Deep breaths into your back body. Let's take it side to side. Bring our feet in for butterfly, opening up your feet like a book, letting your knees flop out, relaxing through your hips. We can fold forward again. Fully relaxing through your pelvic floor here. Come on up. And while we're here, let's also do some gentle neck stretches. Good. So let's come on to our bums here. You can place your hands behind you. We'll press up into a reverse tabletop position. So engaging your core and pressing up, protecting your neck, not letting your head fall back here. Good. Releasing down and we can cross our legs and let's stretch out through our shoulders here. Rounding out. Beautiful. Let's release and place your hands on your knees, opening up your chest. Deep breath. From here, we can come at two hands and knees. We'll press into downward dog. If your wrists are bothering you, you can always stay down on your elbows, tucking your toes, and reaching your heels towards the ground. It doesn't matter if they touch. You can also walk them out one at a time. So we can move in to pigeon pose from here, or you can do a figure four sitting on the ground or on a chair. If you're gonna do pigeon, let's let one leg float off and then come in. 
You should not feel any sensations in your knee here. If you do, you want to pull back or modify. And then you can release your body over your leg. Good. When you're ready, come on up. We'll switch to the other side, planting your hands, tucking your back foot, and letting the other leg float off and come through. Walking your leg back. And relaxing forward. And your next inhale, push your way back up, moving back through downward dog and back through all fours. And then we can find our way to a seated position. You crushed it, we are done. I hope you are feeling like you got a good cardio, but also a great stretch in. If you finished the whole workout, give me some fire emojis in the comments below. Of course, I will keep making pregnancy and postpartum safe workouts every week. If you like workouts like these, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and to support me, share this with another mom friend or mom community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources for both pregnancy and postpartum. You can check out in the description box below. My most popular ones are my complete labor guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor or my postpartum monthly workout plan. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate you and hope you have a great rest of your day.